friends, hello. I'm very honored uh, to be with you, although unfortunately not in person. This is my nth uh, five minute uh, short thing, which actually convey more information <laughs> than my longer talks. So let me jump in. We're going to talk about maximum ignorance probability and an intuition that, that one can develop as a trader. So we start with maximum entropy. Well, everybody's familiar with the maximum entropy. Uh, probability when you have a Bernoulli, uh, you know, zero one uh, with, with probability Q one minus Q, um, visibly uh, the maximum uh, ignorance is when it's 50 50. Let's take the idea one step further with something a little uh, more uh, complex and uh, apply it to a real world procedure where we have sums of Bernoulli's. Fact, the surgeon performs 60 transplant surgeries or whatever complicated procedure and we have no idea about what is the, the, the we have no background information no idea about what is the fair say a probability uh, you know whether uh, he or she is uh, is above or below uh, you know a benchmark we have no idea with 60 with 60 observations uh, how would you bet the error rate, you know, on the error rate, how would you bet what it should be? So uh, uh, the uh, trick I, I figured out is as follows. Let's say we have Bernoulli sums. Uh, we know that the sum of Bernoulli uh, follows a binomial distribution. M is a sum of, uh, you know, M here is a sum of, of the observations of zero, which basically would come, look like a counter. Now, we're looking for the uh, uh, probability P that would make the CDF equal half. So in other words, you're, if I'm gonna come up with a probability P, such that half the time, you know, so media, I'm going to be uh, wrong by overestimating, and half the time I'm going to be wrong by underestimating. Uh, but <laughs> strangely, we get a beta function, <laughs> an inverse beta, and uh, it so uh, uh, happens that it maps to the median of the beta distribution. Ah, which brings us to uh, Bayesian territory. So in this case, for example, uh, we have had zero uh, mistakes, but the fair value of the error rate is, again, you can't trade really on this fair value, but if someone got to put a, a gun to your head and say, what's the fair value, you say, okay, here it is, 1.15%, not zero, as a frequentist would say, <coughs> and not something bizarre as a Bayesian would say. So, and as observations go up, visibly, we're gonna be, uh, you know, converge, but of course, it never reaches zero as, as we see structure. So uh, I put this as a blog post. And then suddenly I was surprised to see that someone wrote a paper on Bayesian probability where he was inspired by that measure, by that, that number, to create what he, you know, this uh, Bayesian data mechanism was what they called a coverage of probability. For small probabilities, it looks like, and, and, and of course make bands around it with some modification. <clears throat> so the bands uh, he created, uh, very interestingly, <laughs> work very well in coverage probability. Coverage probability means uh, if you have the right distribution, how many times you're gonna be within your same 05, 95% interval in that right distribution. So uh, very happy that this trick, uh, you know, uh, matched uh, Bayesian intuition and led to uh, more developments. Uh, finally, uh, for finishing, I'll say that in fact, this idea of the maximum ignorance probability is present and, but was not really developed. We didn't have the capabilities. James, for example, I bring the case of a die uh, that yields on average four and a half instead of three and a half, what is the most likely combination probability that you get based on maximum ignorance? And here you get this uh, this structure. In other words, the six will have a higher probability than the one. Thank you.